Here's his thumbnail. Okay. Hey guys. Acumoan.com. We're out here at our first property of the day. We had a pretty busy morning. What did we go do this morning? We went and picked up a hitch for our camper. Woo woo! It was the most expensive hitch I've ever bought in my life. For real. It was a it was what, crazy. like a eight hundred and fifty nine dollar something like that uh, convertible yeah, hitch. Ridiculous. Yeah, they're not cheap. Yeah, but anyways, here we are. This is the first yard. It's pretty overgrown. We're gonna get started. Drew, we got Drew with us today on the weed eater. He's uh he's been in training for the past couple days, so he's getting there. Doing a good job, Drew. Good job, buddy. Good job, babe. Thanks. Do a good job on the on your on your X mark today. Always do. Do a good job. One minute, 37 seconds later. Seven percent left on the camera. So, where are we headed to, babe? We are going to get the camper. We're going to get what? The camper. Say what? Our new home. Say what? Oh wow! All right, guys, I'm exhausted. We had like six yards to mow today, and uh, now we've got a three-hour drive and then a three-hour drive back. I also had to wake up super early to get this uh, $1,000 hitch. Yay! Kind of hurt our bank, but uh, that's okay. At least we have it now. Anyways, stay tuned and stick with us. We're going to be there soon. I can't wait to show you guys this thing. Hey, you Texas guys, how's it going? I'm sorry for insulting Texas and the Longhorns, not really. I'm from Oklahoma, 
OU, etc. And we have a bit of a rivalry, in case you didn't know, uh, OU and the and the Texas Longhorns, and I just do it out of fun. I was actually born in Texas. I love Texas, and uh, KH is from Texas, so we got nothing against Texas. Uh, but we're in Oklahoma now, and we're OU fans for sure. Let's get Gidget off this mower and get into the Fridge of Fame room. What is it? What taste is it? Come on, let's go before you get sick. Come on. Come on. There, it's a good girl. Good girl. You're learning so fast, Gidget. Hey guys, it's Ben. I miss saying that at the beginning of the video. Happy Saturday to you. Hope everything's going well. I hope your week went well this last week. Ours went perfectly, and mine went even better than perfectly because I didn't do crap, you guys. I sat on my big fat ass uh, all week while the kids went out and did the cutting and the filming and all that. All I did was some editing this week uh, and my 40 hour work week job. Uh, and you know how I feel about that? Terrible. I feel like I've been lazy this last week. Therefore, I'm gonna get out uh, at least a couple of times next week and do a couple of my faves. Uh, but that's why you didn't see me today and that's why you're seeing me now. Uh, I did wanna talk about something that Lex said in the video. She was talking about going to pick up their new house uh, and their new house is a 39 foot camper. Ben, a camper's not a house. You can't live in a, yes, you can live in a camper, you guys. People do it all the time, it's economical. I've taught my kids uh, that they should try to pay cash for everything that they can. They must have a little credit because you gotta build your credit score. You have to have a good credit score in this society if you're going to live in this society. So you need to increase your credit score and increasing your credit score make, means making payments. And it means making payments on time, right? Not being late ever. So you wanna make sure that you got something that you're paying on. Uh, me personally, I use my credit card all month, but then at the end of the month, I pay it off. So, so uh, that goes towards my credit rating. That shows that I'm taking credit and I'm paying credit off. And that's really uh, the gist of the whole thing. So I've told my kids only have enough credit, uh, you know what I mean, uh, where you're not in too much debt, where you can't get out of debt. Don't get in debt, right? Take that credit, but have a way to pay that back as soon as possible or immediately if need be. So enough of my life lessons. Let me tell you about what they took out of them. Uh, they got this 39 foot uh, camper down in Denton, Texas this last week. They're gonna put it on a plot of land that they're buying at the beginning of next month. They bought a plot of land that's 2.56 acres. It's gonna be plenty of room to put a burn pile on. We're not gonna have to go to the dump as much anymore. Uh, we can bulk a uh, pit burn out there and they're gonna put their camper on that plot of land. They're gonna live there. Uh, are they gonna live in that camper forever? No, the plan is they're gonna build one of these things called a barn dominium. But first, they're gonna, they're gonna lay down uh, the plumbing and the foundation, and they're gonna pay cash for that. And then they're gonna save their money. And then they're gonna put up, you know, the steel beams, et cetera, and maybe, uh, you know, the outside shell or whatever. And then they're gonna keep living in their 39 foot camper and save their money until they can pay cash for the next thing. So this should be a really cool thing. I'm hoping that JT, and I've suggested to him that he does like a build vlog, right? Where he shows it just a piece of land and then every time they do something, they do a like a vlog on it. And, and so you can see this thing being built uh, throughout the year or years, whatever the case may be. Uh, they're getting started kind of in the middle of the summer this summer. So they've got a couple of things to worry about. They need to start worrying about saving their money to make it through the winter like they did last year. And they also have to think about what improvements they wanna make on this property. Now, most of the stuff that they can do initially is physical labor. They need to you know, make a driveway into there. They need to uh, level a place for a pad and all that good stuff. And we can do all that ourselves if we, you know, if we have the gumption to do that. Uh, and we can even do that through the winter. The problem is uh, they're working for Acme Mowing and Lawn Care. Acme Mowing and Lawn Care is their source of income. Uh, and we kind of dry up in October when all the grasses uh, start dying off. Let's talk about the GIE for a second, you guys. I told you I've got a GIE 
a video coming out that's going to tell you all about the GIE, things that you can do while you're down there, things that people have done uh, when they went to GIE. We're going to use our own personal experience, me and JT, from year one uh, when we went down to GIE, our first year in lawn care. Uh, I got footage from that. I'm going to show it to you. I'm going to tell you what we did, what we wished we would have done, uh, where we stayed and where we should have stayed. Uh, <laughs> What we what we spent most of our time uh, at the expo doing and what we should have been doing instead of that uh, We're gonna tell you all about that in the video coming up But I, there are a couple of things that we need to talk about GIE right now for one thing if you're not registered get registered right now It's 20 bucks you guys online. You can register online. Uh, I'm gonna provide the um, Website address in the comments down below just click on that and then just go to registration if you register online, it's 20 bucks right now uh, until October 17th. On October 17th, or after that, I should say, it goes up to $40 until like the, the day of the show or something like that. And then the day of the show, it's 80 bucks, guys. Don't pay 80 bucks. Uh, not only that, but you can go to a guy's channel like Brian's Lawn Maintenance or some of these other, Mitchell's maybe do, does it, Lanier Lawn Care maybe, I don't know. Some of these big guys that are real involved with this kind of stuff get those discount codes, right? I know. I know. People don't like discounts. Some people don't like them. But I like them because anything that saves me money, I appreciate. Uh, but go to one of those guys. And sometimes they give you 10% off, 50% off. You know, if you need 50% off 20 to afford to go, maybe you shouldn't go. But if you can get money off, you may as well, right? Am I right? Uh, saving money is always better than not saving money. So get your registration done, even if you're not 100% sure you're going to go. You want to get that out of the way, just to save you money. You also want to immediately, if you're staying in a hotel down there, get it booked. Immediately, guys. Four or five hotels, uh, the cheaper ones in the area, are already sold out. Uh, why do you want to stay in one of the hotels that they recommend? Well, because they have shuttles from those hotels. Make sure that you're on the shuttle. You can find that uh, those hotels that participate on the website, on the GIE website, uh, those are the hotels that the, that the shuttle runs around. If you're not planning on driving or flying in, though, that's great. That's what we did. We flew in and we stayed at a hotel that had the shuttle and we just took the shuttle to the GIE and to 4th Street Live all, every day. Uh, and it was great, free. Get registered and get booked. Right, get your hotel. If you're gonna rent an Airbnb, get it done because they're selling out right now too. Uh, I just got my Airbnb last week, uh, and the one that I, that I had booked last year would have had already been taken for those exact days of GIE. So I don't know who got it, but you're gonna love that place. I'm sure you are. Let's get into some fun stuff, you guys. Uh, many videos ago, it was suggested to me that I take the comments and comment on the comments from our videos. Uh, and we're gonna do that, but we're gonna switch it up a little bit. We're gonna take our latest uh, Instagram uh, post and I'm going to mention two comments off of that post. We're gonna do this every week, I think, if it works out good. So here's the clip, here's the Instagram clip that these people commented on. Enjoy. first comment came from Clockworks 001. Uh, Clockworks 001 said, who cares? It's their personal choice. Explanation point. I always, and I mean always, wear eye pro in hearing, but I am more worried about the shitty stripes and sharp turn ruining the grass. Clockworks 001, we really appreciate you being worried about uh, our stripes and our sharp turns were in the grass. I was more concerned about the eye protection, the hearing protection, and her approaching the weed eater guy so fast, right? Yeah, that's what that was my major concern, but the, sh the shitty stripes, dude. Thanks for the comment. I'm looking forward to more. The next comment, the last comment, is from lawn underscore whisperer. Touche to all. But does anyone want to comment on the tire trails from last week's mo? Not what is mowed, last week's. Does anybody want to comment on it? Uh, I guess the lawn whisperer didn't want to comment on it. Uh, so we're not sure whether he loved them 
or he hated them. Uh, the fact of the matter is, it rained last week, it's pretty wet. I just want to explain this to you. Uh, not that I owe you an explanation, but I want to. Uh, it was wet, and uh, it's, a, it's a rather large property, so we use the zero turn mowers on it, and they do tend to they do tend to leave track marks when the grass is wet like that. The thing that you don't know is, and we didn't record the whole thing, is uh, she cut sideways this time, and then we cut it diagonal. That, that lawn gets so thick and lush that it requires a double cut almost every single time that we cut it. And we're on weeklies on that thing. So just so you know, lawn underscore whisperer, nobody else wanted to comment on the stripes. Maybe you could come back and comment on them and, and let people know what you thought of them. I kind of think that we already have a good idea. Uh, but if you wanted to clarify, because nobody else took you up on your offer for them to, you know, tell us how we could have done it better. All right, that's it. Love each other. Make lots of money. Peace. We'll see you on Wednesday, y'all. The only thing I know is to love what I'm doing. Never give up, never slow till I finally prove it. Never listen to the no's, I just want to keep moving. Keep my head up when I act. Head up, that's a fact. Never looking back, I'ma keep myself on track. Keep my head up, staying strong. Always moving on. Feel I don't belong, tell my thoughts to move along. Push myself to be the best. Die with no regrets. Live with every breath. See my message start to spread.